bread on the outside and something tasty in the middle. That's all you need for a delicious sandwich. In Britain, you can find them in shops on nearly every corner, including here at Sue Cope's. She has about 50 varieties on offer. The most popular are bacon, lettuce, tomato, egg mayonnaise, cress, cheese and tomato, ham salad, ham and tomato, tuna, mayonnaise and cucumber, cheese and onion, egg mayonnaise, chicken mayonnaise, coronation chicken, chicken and bacon in mayonnaise. This is where the snack was invented, the town of Sandwich. 4,500 people live here, and today they have a reason to celebrate. The sandwich is turning 250 years old. The descendant of the man who created it has arrived with his family. For one weekend, it's all about two slices of bread that have become famous. We are celebrating the 250th anniversary of the first sandwich. And we're celelebrating with style. Hungry, sir. Amateur actors recreate the moment of the invention. The fourth Earl of Sandwich, a bon vivant and avid gambler, is hungry, but doesn't want to leave the card table. I don't bread. have time to stop for milk. You've got bread, you've got meat. Yeah, let's bring a piece of meat with a, sli with a slice of bread on each side. It was an instant hit. The Earl of Sandwich inadvertently lent his name to the snack when his friends began to order the same as Sandwich. The fame of the Earl and his invention spread so rapidly that the first caricatures appeared during his lifetime. In one of them, the Earl is depicted sandwiched like a piece of cheese between two ladies of dubious repute. The Earl of Sandwich needed to hold, hold cards in one hand. Well, I think that was true, but it wasn't the only story. And so the family are trying to make up the other side, which is that he was a serious politician. He had his ups and downs, great difficulties in his personal life. But um, he was hard-working, and I think that was another reason, just like you or I need to have a sandwich in one hand. John Montague is the 11th and current Earl of Sandwich. 250th birthday of the sandwich. Yay! And we wish it a happy 250 more years. The Earl is now the host of a tongue-in-cheek birthday celebration. He and his son Orlando have invited the guests from the town to a banquet of sandwiches. Nobody is suggesting that my ancestor was the first person to eat bread and meat. That is patently ridiculous. Um, all we are saying is that here was somebody who made it um, acceptable to have food suit them rather than the other way around. Traditionally, it was all formal dinners and seated and placings and idle chat. He was quite an active man. The banquet has a commercial side too, advertising the Sandwich Clan's own fast food chain. Every generation has busy people. Uh, and I suppose more, you know, more so today as more and more people work in structured environments and timing has become more critical, um, that you need food to suit you. But it doesn't mean you, know, mean you have to compromise. That, and that, for me, is the, you know, the big challenge here. It's not, it's not a compromise to eat a sandwich. It's got to be your favourite food, but it's got to be whenever and wherever you like, uh, want to eat it. The citizens of Sandwich are particularly proud of their invention. Sandwich is an internationally recognised snack to not celebrate 250 years of that would be a very big missed opportunity. In this country, it's what you do, it's what we have. Cucumber sandwiches, the queen. It's just so convenient, they're nutritious, just good. Your favourite, just good. favourite ingredients in a nice little slice. And that list is never ending. Beef, turkey, corned beef, ham and mustard. 